Hello everybody, welcome back to my creative studio. I'm so happy you decided to spend some time with me. Halloween is coming and Halloween is a great holiday to create many original decorations to your home inside and outside. And one of the first things that usually comes to my mind when I think about Halloween is the Jack O'Lantern and the pumpkins created to make it. If you have some orange pumpkin and green yarn and some scissors and crochet hook, example from honey and some candles, you can save yourself all of the mess of caving out real pumpkins and you can crochet Halloween Jack O' Latin. I just did a measurement of the bottle and prepare a char uh, for the crocheting cover or I can say it's sleeve which is put on the bottle. On chart it's important to mark a space for teeth, nose and eyes. So I have my chart ready and I start foundation chain which fits to the bottle. Once the chain is ready I do uh, measurements once again just to be sure that the length is the correct one and then I put into each chain a uh, half double crochet all across. First row of half double crochet is ready. I join the round uh, by slip stitch and then I will crochet my pattern. I decided to crochet three front post double crochet and then three back post double crochet and again and I repeat the pattern so three front post double crochet and then three back post double crochet just to create a design for pumpkin. I crochet the sleeves in rounds and I just repeat this pattern. Three front post double crochet and three back post double crochet and in the next row the same pattern in uh, front post double crochet I place again front post double crochet and into back post double crochet I crochet back post double crochet so the pattern is absolutely the same in each round there is no increasing nor decreasing of the stitches so uh, each round is the same uh, as the previous round each round is finished by slip stitch and at the beginning I always chain 3 as a first double crochet and this is stretchy pattern so you can perfectly use it as a sleeve for the bottle. According to my chart I just make spaces for the teeth. It was quite easy just do 3 slip stitches instead of uh, 3 double crochet and in the next row 3 chains instead of 3 double crochet and continue crocheting and make the same process for nose and eyes. And this is it. This is how my sleeve for bottle looks like and on the top I just decided to crochet some I crochet three small leaves on both I mean on the left and on the right side of the sleeve and around the sleeve I just make slip stitches into each uh, stitch all around and that's it. So this is how the leaves look like. Just slip stitches all around and the same leaves on the left side and this is how my final sleeve look like and uh, you can just use it. You can put it on the glass like this. Okay, isn't this scary or creepy? Not yet. <laughs> okay, you will see when I put the candle inside. I make this video just as a guide but if you will need a detailed pattern just please let me know. I will prepare it. I make this lantern just for fun and for my kids as they love Halloween 
and I hope you liked the video guide and if you decided to crochet the lantern please let me know how your work turns out. Wish you happy crocheting and happy Halloween! Bye bye!